Hi, my name is Yona. I'm the after school leader at Field Teen Center. And today I'm gonna to be talking about The Valley and the Flood by Rebecca Mahoney, a surreal fantasy novel about trauma and the monsters that we make ourselves. I listened to it as an audiobook on Libby. First of all, can we appreciate how beautiful this cover is? It's just very cool. So the concept of this book is that Rose Coulter is a teenager. She's driving home from Nevada. And along the road, she hears a radio transmission of a voicemail that only she has and no one else should be able to play. And it's the last words that her best friend ever said to her before she died. Following this radio transmission takes her to the town of Lotus Valley, where she quickly finds out that there is a prophecy about her or someone like her. And because of this prophecy and some tinkering from Cassie, who is another teenager and also the third best prophet in the town of Lotus Valley, they find out or they come to believe that Rose has brought with her a flood which is sort of a monster made of memories. Uh, and it's kind of hard to describe, but the most important thing about it is whatever it is, whatever you want to call it, it will destroy the town of Lotus Valley within three days, unless Rose and her new friends from this town can figure out how to stop it. So the flood is a shameless metaphor for uh, PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. And the book talks about you know, Rose's trauma and other things that people have experienced and how it affects their mental health and how they talk about it with their therapists in a lot of detail. So if you're interested in mental health and learning more about mental health care, this could be really interesting for you. I think my favorite part of the story was seeing all these different monsters, for lack of a better word, these creatures, and the way that the group kind of learned to navigate these monsters and make peace with them by learning to communicate better with each other and to listen better and to process and talk about what they're feeling instead of running away from it, which is an easy thing for all of us to do. This is an interesting book because it does have these monsters and prophecies, so it's kind of a fantasy story, but it's very rooted in these characters and the things they've experienced and the bad things that have happened to them that are very real. Um, so there's a trigger warning for upsetting content, I guess. None of it's very graphic, but there is the death of her best friend that we know about very early on, but it takes the entire novel to unravel exactly what happened and why Rose feels like she is responsible, even though it's not like she killed her friend, right? So if you like stories that kind of slowly unravel a past event as you read through it, this will be a lot of fun for you to try to piece together what had happened. So uh, I hope you'll check this book out. If you decide to read it, comment and let us know what your favorite creature or monster from this story was. Or if uh, a monster formed from a decision that you made, what do you think it would be? You can get in touch with us on Instagram or through our email and both of those will be in our description. Thanks.